so every spring I have a little routine that I do to get my container garden up and ready for the growing season. This is how my container garden looks usually in June and I like to kind of visualize it so that after a long cold winter when my container garden looks really bad this will motivate me to get out there and get those pots cleaned up and get some new soil in there. So I want to show you how I mix my soil it's very similar to some of the other ways that I have shown you before as far as seed starting mix and then the males mix that I showed you. I am going to reuse my potting soil from my containers. I did not have any kind of disease or insect infestations in my soil last year. So I'm reusing all of my potting soil. And to this, I am also going to add some vermiculite. This will help retain moisture and also provide little air pockets and the soil which is what your plant roots need they like to have a little air in there i love to use vermiculite it's used by a lot of professional growers and just a little tip here too i had a viewer comment on my males mix video that they found some vermiculite for $18 at a feed store. So I was recommending you either order it on Amazon or order it from a specialty nursery. Um, so you can get a big bag of this from feed stores too. So check there. So one of these bags goes a long way. So I'm using this in my square foot garden beds. I'm using it in my container gardens. I'll also use it in my pepper container garden along with my seed starting mixes. So I highly recommend it. So I'm just adding a little bit to kind of freshen up the soil because it does already have some existing pearl light in it. And then I'm adding um, some compost. So I'll just mix this up real well. And now I can go ahead and fill up my containers. I cleaned these containers and I also showed you how I freshened up the outside of them. So I'll go ahead and mix up all of my potting soil mixes and fill up my pots. I also at this time take any of my perennial herbs that need division and I'll divide those. Um, last year I divided mint and oregano. This year I'm dividing tarragon and I'll divide my chives. Um, so those are just a few of the perennial herbs that you might need to divide if you've had them in a pot for oh about three years or so. So I went ahead and also planted out my parsley that I started indoors earlier in the winter. I also transplanted out my chervil, which I started earlier in the winter as well. And I also transplanted my scallions. I like to kind of soak these in water first. It makes it a little bit easier to pull them apart. And I just like scallions, so I always start these indoors um, during the winter because I like to have them early to go with my cilantro that's in the garden. Um, I always have that in the garden early. It is very tedious to transplant these out, but I went over that with you in my how to grow green onion and scallions video and I transplanted out my dill which I had also started indoors and I wanted to show you this too I sprinkled out some green onion or scallion seeds in February and those are coming up as well so I hope to have about three pots of green onion and these are the chives in the center that's what I showed you how to grow in my how to grow chives video and then I also stuck a couple of the scallions on the outside of the chives in that pot. I'm always sticking the little green onions in a pot here or there throughout the container garden. And so my mint is coming back. This is the apple mint. My oregano is also coming back. You see some green here. So that's always a fun sign that spring is here. And then I had some rosemary that I had kept indoors over the winter. I have found that sometimes my rosemary, depending on what kind it is, it might not survive my winters. So I started to bring that indoors. And then I have my green stalk system. I went ahead and planted out some red romaine lettuce in there. I also had some chervil which survived the winter fine. So I've been using that all winter along with spinach. So we had snow and it's been below freezing in the 
um, teens, but my spinach and the chervil did fine, so I was real impressed with that. So this is the garden here, and um, I have a lot of my pots that I'm going to take down to the pepper container garden and plant out my peppers down there. But these are my herbs. I left about three of the pots empty because I will plant basil in there. Now also up here on the deck I have my seeds that I have started indoors and they are now outside pretty much 24-7 at this point. This is the asparagus that I started. I also have um, some peppers, tomatoes, um, my eggplant looks great. I have some fennel that I've started. I have a second tray of spring vegetables such as cabbages and Brussels sprouts. I've already moved down my first planting of spring vegetables such as the cabbages and the Brussels sprouts down to the main garden. And um, now I'm just kind of keeping an eye on the weather report. If it gets cold, of course I'm going to bring in all of those frost sensitive vegetables. So if it looks like it's going to be in the mid 30s, I'll bring in the eggplant, the tomatoes, and the peppers. So there you go. I um, hope all of you out there are getting a little spring fever too. And thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them below the video. I'll be more than happy to help you. Have a beautiful day.